cracking cryptics, a show about uh, how to how to solve cryptic crosswords. And is the show literally, as it says, all about solving crosswords, or, or what does it? Yes, the show to? is a, a simple way of going through all the things you need to be able to solve a cryptic crossword. I have my golden rules which start me off and then the various different kinds of clue that uh, people are likely to come across when they're trying to solve a cryptic crossword uh, and then some various other bits and pieces which um, make it easier to, to solve. And sort of people who come along, are they all fanatics about crosswords? Or? Not, not at all, no. I, I've, uh, when I've done this in the past there's been a complete Cross spectrum from people who've never done a cryptic crossword and just want to see what it's about uh, to those who do the Times crossword on a daily basis and just want to find out what it is I've got to say about the subject. So, yeah, very broad spectrum. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Good, okay. And so, do I see one or two of you then have never done a crossword? Yeah? Fine. Okay, well. Uh, I hope what we're going to talk about tonight will, uh, will uh, be useful to all of you um, and, and not in any way intimidating. There will be examples for you to do and so on, uh, but uh, it's, it's all about being a bit of fun. Are you a daily fellow? Yes, I, I do the telegraph crossword myself. Uh, I find it... Uh, just about my right level. It takes me usually about half an hour to complete, um, and that's just about right for me because crosswords should be fun, and, and spending half an hour or so a day trying to solve one is, is a, a good way of filling uh, that half an hour and feeling that you've achieved something at the end of it. So um, I, I'm not a whiz kid at solving crosswords myself. Something like 20 years ago, I started compiling crosswords, um, and I've got a small business. And we'll I wonder some of the benefits of doing crosswords. Obviously, my generation will just poo poo them and have no interest in them. Well, I, I don't like to think that your generation should poo poo them at all. I think they're very useful for any generation, but they certainly keep your mind active. Nearer my when age, you are getting, you can certainly find that uh, uh, doing a crossword is, is, is uh, helps stave off the eventual dementia that some people might have to uh, survive in the end. So it's very good. It's it's uh, good fun and it keeps you active, and that's what it's all about. The whole point of a compiler's art is to write a clue which really means something completely different to what you are supposed to be uh, finding out from that clue. So, uh, uh, the word cryptic comes from the Greek word kryptos, which means hidden. Uh, and that's exactly what are. And the compiler will try to make a sentence as natural as possible. And of course, he's trying to persuade you to read it as a simple, natural sentence. But in fact, as you'll discover when we go on, you more or less need to dissect it for indicators. Now, there are an indicator clue is something which will tell you how, what kind of clue it is and how to go about solving it. Well, I've already said that I think crosswords are fun, and so I like to keep it very light. I do throw in the odd fairly stupid joke here and there, so hopefully people will find it both uh, amusing and informative. Um, I do throw in some awfully corny jokes, I'm afraid, but do try and laugh. We're here to enjoy ourselves, aren't we? There won't be any more of those. My favourite comedian, by the way, was Tim Vine. Have you heard of Tim Vine? Yeah. The one-liner king. Yeah. Uh, one of his is, for example, uh, conjunctivitis.com. Now, that's a sight for sore. <laughs> they don't get any better. Uh, so there you go. I did say they wouldn't get any worse. I saw this horse. I saw this horse. This horse drinking a glass of wine. I said, what on earth are you doing? What's that? And he said, oh, it's Chardonnay. <laughs> You can tell I'm good at panto, can't you? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no, you're not. Thank you, madam. Getting into the spirit. Good.
So, there you have it. A brief taste of what my show, Cracking Fib Ticks, is all about. I hope you enjoyed it, and perhaps I'll see you at one of the shows sometime in the future.